Hi, my beautiful collective. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell so you get notified when I post new content. And let's dive in, okay? I haven't seen you in a few days. And today, I'm going to do a live. So who knows what time I'm going to do a live at, but I am going to do a live. Mm. So let's clear off the energies and let's call in our ancestors. Ancestors... Spirit guides of the highest white light, I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for the beautiful collective that is watching me during this live premiere. This is not live, but I will go live and you will be able to ask whatever question you want. Okay, so spirit guides, can you please close any other door other than the highest white light so that I can give my beautiful collective a clear, precise channel message. Now, I'm going to go get the charm bowl. Because we need to bring in this beautiful energy. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful night. I've been really doing a lot of work. So I need to take some time off for myself. So that's what you're probably doing. One, one, one on the clock. Taking time for yourself. Now, I have been really doing a lot of cleaning, like I said. And I came across this deck in storage next to a letter from 2014. Uh, it was actually a letter when I um, put myself into jail for fines. <laughs> but this was with it. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is from 2016, this deck. Okay, so I haven't seen it, touched it in a long time. <laughs> but yesterday is uh, real. I had it in there. So let's see what's going on with this deck. Right off the bat, I want to bring a couple cards out. Now, it is the Five of Wands, the only card that's showing. Bottom of the deck, it's the Two of Wands. Now, somebody made a choice. Whatever choice they made, they chose to bring you into some kind of conflict. It's like they wanted to fight with you. That was their choice. Now, you made a choice too. Now, in these cards... This person's choice that they chose to make, now their head is on a platter, it's off. So when they made this choice, they were clearly already not thinking logically. And then they wanted to fight after that because, you know, when you get, <laughs> it's the ego, right? When you get caught up in a lie or when you're, you know, wrong, then, you know, the first instinct when your ego is there is to fight with the other person, to make them look like something that they're not. And it's the hermit with the three of cups. Now, somebody wants to celebrate something. Maybe a lot of people were celebrating you in hermit mode that you were like in your shell. Maybe somebody wants to celebrate with you, but they're like fragmented because of a choice to fight with you. It's the five of swords. Somebody wanted to win at all costs and they stabbed you in the motherfucking back. And there was a lot of people celebrating this. Yeah, it's the seven of wands. Uh, is it seven or six? Six of wands. Now, even if there was a lot of people trying to drag you into their conflicts, trying to stab you in the back, win at all costs, so that this way you will go into your shell, you are out of your motherfucking shell. <laughs> Someone ghosted you is what it comes down to. But the six of wands is here. And you're still getting that victory. Somebody was celebrating, thinking that they won something over you. But the thing is, is that they only end up stabbing themselves with that sword. King of Wands in the... <laughs> King of Wands, yeah. Could be a Leo Aries Sag. Does not have to be what's with it. It's the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Wow, how the fuck is that? That is so rare that it comes out like that together. But look, somebody was very jealous of you. Very envious of you. Even like, it was something with your beauty. It was like you were able to be the light for so many people. Be that sunflower. Maybe somebody called you sunflower. I don't know, but... It's like somebody was guarded. They didn't, they, they were guarded from you. Very disconnected, okay? So whether this is a friend, a family member, it looks like a divine partner, they were guarded. And you were very open. And you had the light, the lantern, the 
candle to help illuminate people who were in the dark. Maybe you were trying to help illuminate this person, but the justice comes out in reverse. They caused you a lot of injustice because clearly they got caught up. Their ego got the best of them and then they didn't want to admit that they were wrong. So the best way that they can, you know, make themselves look good is by trying to team up. But at the end of the day, the more people you team up with, the more weak you look like. That's what it comes down to, three of wands. Now, whatever you are waiting for is coming in. And whatever this person has sent out is coming in. So you got to be careful. I'm bottom of the deck the page of wands somebody wants to get a message through to you because the karma is not good for this person not good at all and it's because they teamed up to celebrate you ghosting you yeah it's the five of cups this person oh six of cups this person is wishing on a wishing well for your love to come back but unfortunately they're just not doing anything but wishing <laughs> six of cups Somebody from your past, friends, family, acquaintances, this fucking king or queen of wands, take it as it resonates, is the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is why they want to come back or whatever is because that karma, like I said, thank you ancestors for clarifying that. It's like they're wishing consistently, but there's a cloud over their wish and it's because of this two, four, six, eight of swords. Somebody feels like they're in a trap, a mental prison. <sighs> because whatever they're investing in, whatever they chose to invest in with this group of people to try to drag you into the conflicts and, and stab you in the back, well, it's put them in a jail, a prison, a mental entrapment. It's not fun for this person right now. And it's only because of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eight of pentacles. Because you chose to do the work. Whatever they chose to do when it comes to this work, this teamwork, this, I don't know. It's like what you chose to invest in, your time, your energy, your resources, is panning out. Because you're getting the victory, but somebody celebrated your demise too soon their victory too soon because at the end of the day, somebody is going through major karma right now and it's the lovers because of a choice. The lovers is a choice. So let's see what's going on here, guys. Uh, let's get, get the messages from the ancestors before we even clarify this. Ancestors, what do you want to tell us, my beautiful collector, for this reading? I hope this resonates and gives you some clarity, okay, my beautiful collective. I really hope I've been helping you. Spirit guides, what do you want to tell us? What's the guiding message before I even jump in? And it's promise, the answer of promise. Now, somebody promised you something, but because they could not, it's like the king of wands, right? They think that they're the leader and they're beautiful and they use their looks for not always the best thing. What they do is if they can't win something, if they don't know how to, they gang up. They get other people to do their dirty work. That's the king of wands. The queen of wands, which is in the higher vibration. Very beautiful, very vibrant, but very much the boss. Now, when if this is a couple, it's the energy is too fiery. Okay, it's like too much. Like you can't look at another person and they can't look at another person. And it's it's very, very fiery. And it gets very heated very fast. And clearly that's why there was a lot of injustice towards this relationship whether it's internally or externally, a lot of people were trying to stab you or this person or fuck both of you or this person was stabbing you or you were stabbing this person. Fuck, there's a whole lot of shit going on. That five of wands, five of swords, like I'm telling you, but you waited, you were patient and you did the diligence. You promised yourself that you would not continuously keep playing the same cycles that you had played before. Spirit of challenge and hunter of abundance. It was a challenge to walk away from people that you had so much passion for. But at the end of the day, if people refuse to take accountability, you can't change nobody. Not at all. And if you're in a relationship where you need to change somebody, then that's not your relationship. It should be easy. 
It should be unconditional. Somebody didn't have that unconditional love. Maybe perhaps they did, but they didn't show that. And that's what you look for. Action. And even if somebody speaks words and, and you watch the words, the words match up to the actions. Well, you know, it is what it is. Hmm. Cheers. That's the lovers. Okay. We have a choice. We always have a choice. Who are we going to choose to invest in? What kind of work are we going to choose to do? Somebody did some dark work. And you chose to take the challenge for what? To see it as a challenge. Like, okay, so this person wants to play hardball, then we'll play hardball. But it's not going to play with the, um, on their terms. We're going to create a new whole game. A game that not a lot of people have ever seen. You are a trailblazer. You are a trendsetter. And you took this as a challenge to bring in abundance for yourself. Not looking for the external world. Maybe you don't have much passion for people right now because... You know you're beautiful, you know you're vibrant, you know you, what you bring to the table. And you're just not dealing. So I want an affirmation. There's nothing there. Because somebody needs affirmation. And this is, somebody needs affirmation and it's fucking affirmation. <laughs> it says, I listen to my needs and acknowledge, I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I, I assess myself and remain in my power. I am brave and gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and I am respected by others and it says being true and freedom listen this is what you chose to do you chose to take it as a challenge to be true to yourself to affirm what you needed to do who you were stand on that ten toes down whether people liked it or not it's irrelevant you speak your truth as above so below you're not all love and light you're you're real and that's it being true to have the freedom now it says, being true, affirmation, it says, I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have confidence in who I am, and I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide to prove anything. I replace shame with power and love with truth. This is what you did. So if somebody ghosted you, they only put you into serenity. Somebody left you alone a little bit too long and didn't realize. Like, when you do somebody dirty, you got to be careful. You got to know them. Because if you... If you really get to know somebody, you may be ghosting somebody who doesn't mind being ghosted at the end of the day. You know what I mean? That doesn't want the, the validation or approval of others and will kind of like uh, thrive in that um, solidarity, in that, in that solitude. And that's what you did. You got freedom. It says, I release my wounds and create wounds, create doubt. I realize that my wounds create doubt, resentment and guilt. So I work to free myself from the darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. And then serenity. It says, through love, release. Through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. I have a gentle view in life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear, and I have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. That's what you did. You were true to yourself. You became true to yourself. You affirmed and did the affirmations. I am enough. I am beautiful. Talk about I am enough. I am beautiful. Let's get from the heart message. Because somebody's heart is ooh, it's like they're in a trap. But this is a trap of their own making, though. Spirit guide, show me what the from the heart message is. One message, please. From the heart message. You really broke free from this. And it says, my mind creates a reflection of my physical world. I am at peace. See, somebody's physical world is at chaos. So, of course, or all they've ever known was chaos. So, of course, that's what they're going to project onto you. But that doesn't mean that that's factual. That doesn't mean that that's how you are. You have created peace in your physical world and your spiritual world. And somebody didn't realize all the work that you were doing wasn't for anybody else but yourself. So if somebody chooses not to respect you, see you for who you are, understand where you're coming from, you will easily eliminate yourself and be the one who does the ghost thing. <laughs> you know, it does, that's the thing. Yeah, somebody wants to put something on the table. There's an offer coming in. The situation, there's a proposal. Somebody wants a commitment. There is a choice here, guys, but it's like this injustice is being seen. 
And whatever you want is coming in. Just like whatever other people want for you. Like the bad shit. It's coming in too. Now there was irreconcilable differences. Holy fuck I actually said that word. There was a divorce. There's somebody finalizing some kind of divorce. Maybe you did. And now somebody wants to put some kind of commitment on a table. Maybe you're meeting somebody new. Because you had the spiritual ascendance. Somebody wants to settle something with you. They want to compromise, some to come to some kind of agreement. Perhaps these you were both catalysts to each other for the ascension. Take it as it resonates, guys. There's nothing there. Heart of the deck. Somebody's on the verge of spilling the tea and confessing everything. <sighs> wow. Someone had a spiritual awakening, but it's only because of this karma, yo. Somebody lost everything. And if they were superficial, money hungry, it's the ego, right? They, they had to have the ego death. So what they did was they got everything that they were so, like their prized possessions taken away from them. Whatever that is, whether it's children, whether it's money. It says, make an effort, okay? It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So somebody is guided to take a step towards you. Bottom of the deck, release your ex. But you're going to have to release your ex. Any kind of toxic energy that's clearly holding you back. you got to let it go, guys. Seriously. Because somebody at the heart of the deck, the temperance angel, sees you as a temperance angel. Wants to reconcile with you. But you need to see. It says the time has come to clear your energy. That people need to be clear in their motherfucking energy before they ever come... Spin in the block or even to introduce you. You ain't playing no games like that. And if somebody inboxes you, texts you, says, oh, I want to be friends with you. I don't know you. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Now, there's somebody coming in that, yes, you know this person. King and queen of wands. But it's too fiery. That's probably why you need to take a break and ascend. So let's clarify this, okay? Spirit guides, oh, let's use the light seers tarot. Ancestors, let's clarify this for my beautiful collective. It's the hangman. Somebody is seeing things in a different perspective. They may have been paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. That karma is a motherfucking bitch. So be careful how you treat people because 2024 is that year of karma. It's going to hit you when you least expect it, okay? So let's clarify this. King and Queen of Wands, the Injustice, or the Justice in Reverse, and the Three of Wands. Spirit guides, what are we clap? What's going on here? What's going on with that King of Wands? It's the Emperor. So it's an ego thing. Somebody's ego got the best out of them. Ancestors can clarify the Queen of Wands. Somebody wants to come towards you, but they were playing a game of chess. Okay, Knight of Cups. And they wanted to come towards this Queen of Cups as a knight in shining armor. However, they were very flighty. They came in as, you know, a love bomber, manipulative, maybe even trying to pretend like they were very charming. This is the kind of person who will pay attention to you and then do all the things that you want, not the things that they are. So they're fake. They're phony. King of Pentacles. And it was all about money, some kind of superficiality. Somebody's going to end up. Alone, gray, and old, all by themselves because of this tower that's hidden when it comes to the strength. You had the strength to take this as a challenge. And you have really conquered. You won. And it's only because of your strength. You are able to be soft like a lamb, but fierce like a lion. So you stood up for yourself. And somebody is seeing that. The only reason why, though, injustice happened was because of money. Somebody thought that you weren't good enough for them. So they came in and out, in and out to take from you because they thought they were better than you. They thought that they could manipulate you with their looks or their their lies. Like, I don't know what to tell you, you guys, but the tower is here. And the tower is not always a bad thing. It's a life-changing event. And in here, it's a beautiful tower. You are waiting for your ships to sail. It's like you waited for your wave, but somebody has been riding your wave, trying to take something from you this whole time, and you had the power and the strength to send that motherfucking ship. And somebody is upset because now they're finalizing some kind of energy. This doesn't have to be a divorce, guys. It's like 
Maybe you ended some a situation, a friendship, I don't know, something. And somebody wants to put something on the table. Somebody new, perhaps, or a new energy. The ascension, right? Yeah, somebody's about to confess everything. And if they don't, well, guess what? Tasha just always spills the tea. So you already know. Remember, Tarot is... Me just telling you that what your subconscious is already telling you to release your ex or any kind of past baggages that's trying to get in interfere with you making an effort towards real love or loving yourself. Because look, my cards just blew the fuck up. It's the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands and the High Priestess. Now you have a lot of passion. You are dancing to the beat of your drum and you are showing others to do the same. It doesn't matter what people think. I actually had one of my friends. Well, uh, he's not my friend anymore because I just deleted him. But um, a friend from AA who clearly is not sober tell me this morning on my, like, he commented, I guess, like, fuck, I don't know. I woke up at, like, 4 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. And he commented, like, three hours before that. So what the fuck is he doing up anyways? Commenting, saying that weed weed is uh weed is a drug just like alcohol bitch no it's not i don't see nobody ODing off of weed i don't see nobody fucking killing people off weed i don't see nobody like that's but i'm not gonna explain that so what i did was i just blocked because clearly people they have it's like they judge things they don't know so because you're beautiful somebody thought that you were like all the other queen of wands they met but the queen of wands they met were clearly in reverse this is why they thought that they can get away with coming in and out but only a fucking jezebel is gonna allow their door to be open for just anybody and that's the fucking truth and that's what somebody is realizing that you took this as a challenge you took that serenity you made peace with the darkness and now you're ghosting the fuck out of people it's like you don't have any energy to be fucking explaining yourself to shit. If people don't see you for who you are, well, then they don't need to be in your life. It is what it is. And that's why you are celebrating the fact that somebody ghosted you because it allowed you to see the truth. You know, you've seen that people were stabbing you in the back and you still get the victory because knowledge is power. Nine of wands, nine of swords, five of pentacles. Somebody is in a mental entrapment. I'm telling you, they can't eat, they can't sleep. And it's because they feel left out because of this karma. Maybe you felt left out, but you got your head out your fucking knees, got up and got the key. You have the key. Everybody has the key to get themselves out of this trauma, this uh, lack mentality. This pity me shit. Oh my God, there ain't no fucking victims, two of swords. But somebody wanted you to be blindfolded, wanted you to be naive. Now, a lot of people are stuck in society's way of living and society's way of living. A lot of people, mad, miserable, fucked up. And it's because of the illusions. A lot of people are haunting themselves with their subconscious. Somebody feels very left out from you. And it's because you see them for who they are, what they are, and what they chose to do. Queen of Wands. And you are standing in your power. You are very, very beautiful. You have the power in your hands. <laughs> and somebody is upset with that. They're wishing for you. Because maybe they judged you falsely. You got that protection. Maybe you got a little kid, a black kitty, or maybe a puppy. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But the three of swords comes out in reverse. And you know, I'm not supposed to read these cards in reverse. But you have clearly mended your heart. And it took a lot. Like, you fucking let it out. And I'm telling you, you probably were at the bottom of the scale at one point or another. Feeling like, you know, unfair. Things were unfair. Well, things are balancing itself out. Somebody needs to heal from this wheel of fortune in reverse. Because if they were on top with that emperor trying to play mind games and manipulate and, you know play god in somebody's life because they're fucking all angry on that mars energy aries guess what you still got the ten of cups you still got happiness for fulfill fulfillment and that's why somebody's in a mental entrapment because you're still doing well without them you never needed them you wanted them somebody really underestimated your power your love your potential the work that you do not just internally before the external. I'm telling you, you really tried to help this person, but you see you couldn't help them if they can't help themselves because they're stuck in the devil. Somebody worked with the devil. <sighs> Some kind of darker entities or Jezebel taken as it resonates to try to manipulate you. 
<laughs> I'm trying to take from you, but bitch, please, you already seen this. Now somebody is trying to come in to compromise because they want a spiritual awakening or they have went through a spiritual awakening and now they're feeling like their head is on a plate, right? They're disconnected, right? Because of their choice. Somebody is was trying to manipulate you to control you, my beautiful collective, because they are being controlled by sex. By manipulation, by drugs, by friends, family, maybe a mother, a sister, a girlfriend, a cousin, a brother, a boyfriend, a girl, a uh, father. Take it as it resonates. You know your story. Six of cups with the temperance angel. But you have already let go of these demons. You have already let go of these toxicities. You already know you. You check yourself every morning, every night. People need to check themselves before they check you because people are wrecking themselves. Why? Because you're happy. And somebody is so fucking obsessed with you. You know this person or you've known this person before. So it could be from your past life. It's like because they couldn't feed their inner child because of something that happened as a child. They went so dark. And that's clarification. They went so dark into their own depression. And now they want to bring balance. It's the sun and the moon coming together with the temperance angel. Something happened during the eclipse. Maybe somebody had a Saturn return perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? But the page of wands is there again. Somebody wants to send you a message. And it's the death and rebirth. Because they had a death and rebirth. There's a major transformation here. Maybe this king of wands transformed. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's get some more messages. I'm going to check the time. Okay. And it's almost time for my boys to go to school they're already ready and everything i just wanted to pop in and give a quick reading while bella's uh live premiering right now and then i'll do my live after i watch bella perhaps we'll see we'll see it's a surprise so that this way my real soul tribe members will pop in because you have already pushed the bell icon so you will get notified when i post my live now there's a fucking couple who is very triggered in the background because whatever your situation environment i'm telling you somebody teamed up with a jezebel for money this is why they stabbed you in the back and they wanted to drag you into their conflicts because they got caught up in in a lie and it's better to group up so all those people say that that one lie is the truth but really it has put these people in a stalemate because they were avoiding the fucking truth for a very long time. But it's about divine timing. It's divine timing that this tower hits for somebody. And you're strong. You have already hit this tower. That's why you ain't going backwards. Fuck no. That's the truth, guys. You are standing on the truth. And you're expressing the truth. That's what gives you strength, power. And somebody push, you push somebody right into the dark night of the motherfucking soul with your truth. Because your truth is your truth. You got receipts. Everything that comes out your motherfucking mouth is receipts. You ain't, what is it called? It's like, you ain't one of those people who just like, it's said so it's real. No, it's not. You did the work. You see it. You have proof of the fact. Before you even eliminated yourself from the equation, you had proof. You knew. And that's why your mind creates a reflection of your physical world. That's why you are at peace. Because you made the choice that was best for you ancestors and alchemy your ancestors are helping you to release to purge to really see the situation for what it is we've all went through this dark night of the soul guys and sometimes like this for instance for me would put me into the dark night of soul that's what kind of did in my situation and that clearly having to take responsibility for choosing to do dirty onto somebody who clearly was a temperance angel, just wanted the best for people, queen of swords, and clearly had knowledge. They didn't realize that your cutoff game was deadly. And as soon as you cut that motherfucker, that friend, that family member, the whole fucking crew off, doom, dark night of the stole. They laughed. They celebrated. They wanted you to be down and out in the dumps. But you made a promise. To dance with your frustrations and not go backwards because that's what somebody wanted for you? Like, come on, guys. People need to live their own life, okay? So let's see what the hidden truth is because somebody seriously needs to go back to their childhood because something is 
possessing them to continuously be mad at somebody who's living their life. Like they're screaming in the background. It says, I regret lying to you because they regret lying to you. That was the only thing you told them not to fucking lie to you. You would have supported them even if you weren't with them. But the thing is, is people will lie. They lie to your face and, and they lie on you. And look, it says, I lost myself for a little while. Somebody really is feeding that inner child. It's like when they're on drugs, they hate you. When they're partying and they're with their fuck ass friends, they hate you. Their mind is so fucking warped. But then when they're so pretty, they love you. It's a fucking fucking joke, man. Look, it says you just, just being near you is intoxicating. My ancestors, my downloads. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because you know I'm always on point. Yeah, your love is intoxicating. Just being near you is intoxicating. Like I said, that queen and king of wands, right? It says, I hid who I really was from you. Somebody hid who they really were from you. They pretended. And they're afraid to contact you now because you see them for who they really are. They lost themselves. And it says, it's time for me to heal now. Yeah, they need to heal. And I want to feel that way again. They want to feel that happy energy that you gave them before. That support, that guidance, that respect. But the thing is, is that somebody said you weren't loyal when you were like the loyalest person ever. That's why they're in so much heartbreak. Because your love was intoxicating, something they've never met. So, of course, because of that illusion, they never met that. They didn't know that. So they thought it was fake because they were being fake, because all they've known was fake. And the ancestors are really guiding somebody to release that old energy for you to release that old energy, guys. And it's, yeah, because somebody is feeling very guilty. They got their head and their fucking, look, there's a lot of lack. Somebody feels like they're too, too they don't have enough, okay? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like somebody fucking really fucked up. They sabotaged themselves thinking they were fucking sabotaging you when you already made a promise to dance with the frustration and stand in your motherfucking truth. You don't care if you look bad. You don't care if people like, comment, subscribe. You don't care about the hype. You care about the message. You care about being honest. You care. That's all that matters. And that's why you speak the truth, honestly, with no resentment. And that's what gives you empowerment. And you're showing others to do the same. Even if it makes them look bad, it's time to confess. There's a lot of people plugged into you. I'm telling you, somebody is feeling very triggered by the disharmony that's around them or this fucking Jezebel spirit, male, female, whatever this is, friend, family, acquaintances, lover. It's a drama queen. This drama queen is fucking projecting a lot of shit onto you or was. And somebody believed it. What? Somebody believed it. What? And now they're in a pressure cooker. Somebody's about to rage the fuck out. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity today. Let's get a subconscious message and see what's going on for this person. Subconscious, for your subconscious. This person regrets lying to you and coming in as like this, this love bomber and shit. Like knight in shining armor, but always in and out. Somebody regrets being in and out of your life. And they wish they were the emperor to you, but not so fucking power hungry says how can i be more flexible right now somebody needs to learn to be more flexible says what are you trying to control maybe it's time to let go let love move you through move through you today and trust the outcome will trust the outcome will be for your highest good <laughs> today is so action remind yourself all day long that you are safe that life is happening for you and that you are not alone then do some yoga Okay, somebody needs to stretch your motherfucking body. Move that body. Shake that body. From me. People, don't you know? Don't you know what's up at time? <laughs> manifest miracles. It's time to manifest miracles. <laughs> okay, it says your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow it with guidance. Somebody really underestimated you. The power to transmute the darkness, turn it into light. Take this as a fucking challenge and break free by being you in solitude. <laughs> it says, look inside yourself and examine what's causing you to feel this way. Somebody really doesn't like that you love yourself enough to be like, okay, bye. See, because you know that somebody is trying to fucking bind you with their toxicity. But look, you got the power. I got the power. <laughs>
Seriously, it says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no and walk away at any time. And that's what somebody underestimated. You, your cutoff game is deadly. You're the queen of swords, lovers and temperance angel. If that lovers is too far on the dark side and doesn't appreciate you and value you and is trying to kind of bind you in some kind of way, well, bitch, you're going to fucking cut that off. You're going to break the cords and you're going to set yourself free. You aren't mentally trapped and, uh, and binded. You have mended your heart and you forgave people. Somebody needs to forgive themselves. Because you got friendship here. If somebody wants to be with you, they're going to have to learn. They're going to have to get to know you again. They're going to have to be your friend. It says nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Somebody was nicer to their friends than this fucking sexual union. And they didn't want to be a friend. They were mean to you, trying to control you because they thought that you were theirs. It's like mine energy. That's mine. Nobody can mine. That's that fuck. No, no, that's not what we're doing here. Friendship. Nurture the bond within the relationship and your friend. It's like somebody had everything they could ever want. You may have had everything you could have want, but the thing is, is that you had to walk away from it because somebody need to grow the fuck up. Sexual union. It's not always about the sexual union, guys. It's honor a place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Now, this person knows that true bliss lies with you, but the thing is, is that they did not respect your mind, your body, or your soul, so you're not going to give them your sexual union, especially because you know you can manifest miracles off that coochie or that wang or whatever you want, guys. And it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly. Somebody knows you're intoxicating and just being near you is like whoa and it says when you pass this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memory you share with those you love somebody's gonna take you with them until the day they die somebody's in a lot of regret for lying to you because they're gonna love you forever and they want to send a message through to you this king of wands what the fuck the king of wands what the fuck wants to send a message through to you but they are very burdened because of this love they know that your love is over Flowing. They know that you have agape love. They know that you have a lot of passion. Somebody has a lot of passion for you and wants to celebrate with you. But you're holding on to your fucking assets for all your life. Why? Because it's about transformation. I'm getting it out the mud. Somebody's learning the truth about you and why you are protecting yourself because there is a lot of people trying to do some kind of manipulation or magic and they're waiting for that to come in but you have did the work to stand single self-sufficient independent and move away from the turbulence to calmer waters because your ancestors told you it's time to heal and that's what you did you healed so you can have a higher level commitment with the higher font you are the stairway to heaven for somebody, and that's why they're coming in like a bat out of hell. Masculine and feminine, very balanced, but they might not have much. It looks like they're kind of naked because they're in a mental entrapment because of your victory. The people who did not want you to have victory, to see who you were internally, well, guess what? They're going to judgment because you are the high priestess, and somebody tried to juggle you. But you have practicality and spirituality. So you ain't judging anybody, but somebody tried to win at all costs and they really got a headache because you're still winning. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity telling you somebody was in an illusion. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And now they're looking at a 360 degree angle and have to tell the truth. So I got to send my kids off to school. So I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And if you want a more personal reading, hit me up on my email or my Facebook. Okay, guys, I love you. If you're feeling generous, go ahead and hit the donation button below. I truly, truly appreciate all the energetic donations. And I'll see you later on my live. So hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post my live. Bye. Bye.